Hey everyone, it's Carissa Wiley here for Concord and Ninth. Thanks for joining me today. Let's have an up close and personal look at the new Best Friend Vibe stamps and dies from Concord and Ninth. If you are someone who grew up in the era of friendship bracelets, then you know they are totally back. They're even selling them on high-end websites right now. And this Concord and Ninth stamp and die set totally captures my youth vibes of those woven friendship bracelets or the ones with the personalized beads. So this bundle includes a stamp set that has all of your alphabet letters as well as a couple of sentiments there on the bottom. But the real magic happens with the coordinating dies because you can make all different types of beads, alphabet beads or colored beads, and you can also make woven bracelets as well. So here's a look at all of the dies cut out here. You can see that there's several repeated shapes and that's because Several of these cut out more than one shape at once. So for the woven bracelets here, you have your bases, but you also have those woven pieces that fit on top of it along with the end strings for both the smaller and the larger woven bracelet. You'll also have some shaped and colored beads that you can create in various colors. And then the alphabet beads, which I have die cut out of some white cardstock. So they're kind of hard to see here, but we're going to have an up close look at those in just a moment. And then you have a few different strings for your beaded bracelets as well. So you can mix and match these and create your own custom friendship bracelets. So let's look at this in action. I have my stamp here that has all of the alphabet letters mounted in my Misty stamping tool, and I'm inking it up with some Juniper ink, and I'm stamping it onto some white cardstock because I want to show you how these bead-shaped dies work with the alphabet stamp. So once I have that stamped there, I can remove it from my Misty, and you can see I have several letters that are repeated here. So you don't have to stamp this necessarily a bunch of times to make your word. Now these alphabets are compatible then with both the square shaped bead dies, which just lays right over the top, and the circle shape bead dies. So you can make your own custom alphabet beaded friendship bracelet. You can make it say anything that you want and I love that. So let me show you how to put one of these beaded bracelets together. I'm starting with kind of the arched string here for my bracelet and I have a piece of pebble cardstock underneath it just so that you can see all of my pieces really clearly. I like to anchor the ends of my little string down to my work surface. That just helps it um, kind of stay in place while I'm gluing my beads in place. And you can see I've stamped and die cut several colors of the shaped alphabet beads here. I've used the circle die and I have a bunch of different colors here. I have watermelon, stardust, juniper, grapefruit, sea glass, I believe that's it. And then I have some gold metallic cardstock or the matte gold cardstock from Concord and Ninth die cut from the smaller beads. Now, once I have all of my letters picked out, I am going to add some liquid glue to my string. And I like to start in the middle. This helps me kind of get everything shifted into the right spot. If I start with the center letter and put it in the center of my string, then I can work my way out from there. And it helps me, like I said, just keep everything nice and centered up. So I am placing each of these alphabet beads onto the liquid glue that I have on the string, and I'm placing a little gold bead in between each of the letters just for a little extra something. And you'll see here on my finished card in just a few moments that I actually topped some of these gold beads with the brand new enamel metallic gold dots from Concord and Ninth. It looks adorable. <laughs> Now I'm spelling out the word besties here, but as I mentioned before, you could use someone's name. You could put a date because there are numbers included. I've even seen friendship bracelets where they do like your latitude and longitude. So it shows your place on the map. So many different ideas. And this comes together so quickly because you're die cutting and stamping all those letters in one pass of your die cut machine. Then you can just glue them onto your string and you'll see here, I'm just releasing that 
from that background paper there. And I have my completed bracelet here that says besties. I think this is so cute. And keep in mind, you could use the dies to create colored beads, different shaped beads. There are heart beads and star beads. So the sky is really the limit. And I think you're gonna have a great time creating with this. Now let's look at the woven bracelet. I'm gonna do kind of the chevron style woven bracelet here. I have the base piece for this and I've die cut the little triangle shaped woven pieces from five colors of cardstock. Now I'm starting by covering that base piece with some liquid glue and I'm starting at the very tip of this base piece and that first piece I lay down, I like to make sure I get it really good and lined up with the end of that base piece. Because once I have this in place, then I'm just gonna nestle the next shape into the previous shape. And I'm gonna continue this pattern all the way across this base piece. And I can do any pattern that I want here. I'm just using the five colors and repeating those across it. Now, I like to use liquid glue because that means I can kind of slide these in to the previous piece without you know it grabbing too quickly. It allows me a little bit of wiggle room. And I like to use either some tweezers or some kind of tool where I can pick up my pieces and place them onto the glue and kind of slide them into place. Now the smaller woven bracelet is very similar in its assembly. You just wanna make sure that you get that first piece lined up with the ends of the base piece, and then you can nestle the pieces into each other and work your way all the way across the base piece, covering it up in any pattern that you like. So you can see I have my woven bracelet here, and now I'm gonna take the little end strings and I'm gonna take a couple of different colors. I've die cut them from the various colors used in the bracelet. And I can stack a couple of these up to make it look like they're all woven together. And once I get those stacked up, I'm gonna glue it on to the end of my bracelet. And I like to finish off that little knot with a enamel dot of some sort, uh, either colored or metallic, to kind of just bring that all together and give it that true bead look on the end. So here is my woven friendship bracelet. And now let's look at a couple of cards that I've created using this Best Friend Vibes stamp and die set. So the first one is a beaded bracelet. I have wrapped the ends of the bracelets around my card front so that it looks like it's on one of those jewelry holder backers. And you can see I've spelled out besties forever, I love you. And here is where I've used alphabet beads, but I've also used some of the Concord and Ninth gold metallic enamel dots to finish off my bracelet. Now for this card, I used the smaller woven bracelet. I just stamped the best friend vibe sentiment right there in the center. And I was able to create these two ends by just creating one bracelet and kind of snipping it apart. So it looks like it's uh, yours and mine friendship bracelet. So there you have it, an up close and personal look at the new Best Friend Vibes stamp and coordinating die set from Concord and Ninth. I absolutely love this stamp and die set. It brings me back to my childhood days and I think you're gonna love making your own custom bracelets.